Hey y'all, it's your girl here from Pecan Porch Boutique. Look at this cute little corner shelf, y'all, that I found on Marketplace. I thought it was so adorable with its scalloped edges and the spindle fronts. Um, so after I cleaned it, I gave it a clear coat because I wasn't sure if there was going to be any bleed through. But it came out really good. So, um, so I'm going to start out by using IOD's Toadstool Mold. And I really love this mold, y'all, because it's so whimsical. So here I am. I'm going to put some uh, baking powder because, you know, everybody else went and got, I don't know what it is that, what it is that you use to put in your molds. I don't know. But no, Cassandra goes in and gets some baking powder. But anyway, it works because the clay from IOD is, is really kind of sticky and moist when you get it, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, you really want to put something in your molds to make sure you can pop them out when you need to. So I'm just gonna grab a chunk of clay and I am going to, to kind of knead it in my hand and then I'm just gonna press it into my mold. One thing you don't wanna do with the clay is you don't wanna like piece it in. You don't wanna put like a top piece in and then add the, you know, the stem piece because that's just gonna enhance the cracking. So here I am, I'm just gonna push it into my mold and then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna kinda use iod's micro rim, micro rim that comes on the mold and i'm just going to um pull off the excess and then that way i get a really good um image within the mold and then once i do that what i like to do is i like to take my mold and flip it over and then with the rocking motion um, i can easily just pop it right out So my glue of choice is tight bond quick and thick. Um, it works really well for me um, on on my casting. So that's pretty much all that I use. But here I am. I'm just taking uh, my um, tight bond and I'm just taking it on my finger and spreading it over my mold you want to get enough glue on there but you don't want to get a lot so much that it squeezes out around the edges um and so here i am and i'm just going to um take them individually and put them on the top of my bookshelf and just kind of tap them in firmly to keep them in place i don't want to push so hard that i I distort the image but i'm gonna tell y'all this bookcase i'm not very tall and this bookcase was taller than me and i had to wrestle with this little book shelf to get it you know like i don't know like to get up in the top you'll see after a while i had to have help but anyway here i am i'm just putting the molds on and i had already pre-glued some of these so i'm just uh, kind of putting them in the place that i want to on top here So now I'm going to add uh, some tape to the different sides of the bookcase um, and you'll see why in a little while. I'm just going to add some tape y'all and then I got all tangled up with the tape. I put it on the wrong way. You'll see that after I um, when, in the next segment. But I started out by putting the tape and I want to alternate each side of the bookcase. So I'm going to start on one side 
I'm going to put some tape, then I'm going to go down to the next shift, and I'm going to put it on the other side, and vice versa. So that's what I'm going to do all the way down, and you'll find out why shortly. Although you're And here we are all taped up on different sides and as you can see like i said i put it on the wrong way at first but i also forgot to mention y'all that i put the toadstool mold also on the base of this little corner shelf too so i'm going to start out with um i'm going to be doing some layering here but i'm going to start out using diy's um gypsy green which is this really pretty kind of mossy green and also diy's um, multitasker brush I'm gonna be using as well to get this on but see I told y'all I was gonna need some help child I pulled out that step ladder and I said let me get on up on this corner shelf because otherwise it's gonna get the best of me so here you'll see me with um, DIYs multitasker brush and I am just starting my first base coat of the gypsy green up on top over the mushrooms or toadstools are toadstools and mushrooms the same thing I don't know anyway over the toadstools I'm just uh, brushing on the first coat uh, of the gypsy green all of the products that you see me using today are available on my website at www.pecanporchboutique.com so the multitasker brush holds a lot of paint y'all and it's really good for getting a lot of paint on the surface in a little bit of time but for these tiny edges i reached for my um, paint pixie french tip brush and that's what you see me using here and i'm just getting into that little that little point on the end helps to really get into those corners and the little tight spots that i couldn't get into with the bigger brush And I am not going for like complete, complete coverage here, y'all, because this is just a layer. This is just a base coat. I'm going to be layering on top of this. But I'm not, as you can see, not putting the gypsy green where I have the part taped off. And this is what it looks like after the first semi base coat. I say semi because again, I wasn't going for full coverage. So it is still drying here and basically it looks like a hot mess, right? But it always looks like a hot mess before. So don't be shocked. Anyway, so here is the um, first base coat down and we are going to move on y'all. For layer number two, I busted out my DIYs layered chocolate. I love this color, y'all. It's a really deep chocolatey brown. But I'm just going on. I've um, changed brushes now, and I'm going with my Paint Pixie Natural Bristle Brush because I'm using a stippling motion, and for that, I need a 
um, a stiffer bristle brush. So I'm just stippling this, um, what is this? What did I say this was? This layered chocolate all over, but not complete coverage. Again, not trying to get complete coverage at all. Although your earth Here we are, layer number two helps to continue the hot mess look, y'all. It is coming together, although it doesn't look like it. And again, I have avoided the side that has the tape on it. But the whole goal for stippling and taking your brush in different directions is to create an organic look and give you a little bit of texture on a smooth surface. So for our final layer, I am going to be using DIY's Cowgirl Coral, which is this really pretty coral color. So I am going to be making a wash with this color. I am going to be doing 50-50, so half paint, half water, or a little bit more. You can make a wash to whatever your taste is. And I am going to be using this blue shop towel that you see lying next to me to do a wash ragging technique. So... Hold on, y'all. Stay tuned. So now with this little chip brush, I am just going to paint my wash on. And again, I am avoiding the side where I have the tape, y'all. So I'm just going to paint my wash on. And if, I, if it looks like I'm being a little bit careful, that's because it's really, you know, wet. It's really thin. And so it kind of slings around the room. And I swore after I redid my dining room floor that I was not going to get no paint on it, y'all. So I am trying really hard. Anyway, I'm just going to paint this on and then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my blue shop towel and just kind of scrunch it up in my hand. And every time you scrunch it, you get a different pattern from the towel. And so then I'm just going to take that towel and I'm just going to dab back the coral paint. And I'm going to, you'll also see me using my Mr. Bottle. That kind of helps the paint move around a little bit so I don't get like, um, you know, really um, hard are really thick places within the paint because I, I just want this to be a wash so that's what you'll see me doing here with the shop towel on the water I'm just spraying and kind of getting it just to kind of look like I want it to but it creates this really organic look that I really love
The ragging technique is a really good way, like I said, to continue getting texture to your piece, but also to um, create an organic look. And you don't have to use a shop towel, like you can use a regular towel. I've seen people use uh, paper bags, just whatever you want to use. And it's so simple. Just brush on your uh, watered down paint, get you a spray bottle if you need, and just take your towel of your choice and just start dabbing it back. That's all you gotta do, y'all. So this is what it looks like after I've got it all ragged all over um, with my shop towel and my mixture of cowgirl coral and water. I love it, y'all. You can still see some of the um, the base coat popping through. You can see a little bit of the. Um, layered chocolate popping through that is really an organic look and that is what i was going for and now i know y'all saying cassandra what you gonna do about that tape girl because it's been hanging around a while hold on y'all just hold on okay it's coming off i promise we can still take flight. see i told y'all it was coming off I've taken it off. Well, it's not really off. I've repositioned it over to the painted side now. And so here I am for the size that I never painted. I am using DIY's beadboard and I am going to paint up each of the sides that were previously taped. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, I fought with this little long handle brush and the spindle on this corner shelf. It kept getting hung. But anyway, I'm going to do two coats of the DIY beadboard on each of these panels that has no paint. This is what it looks like after each one of those little panels is painted in two coats of DIY's beadboard. And I bet y'all can already guess what's going to happen next, huh? But I took the tape off. Can y'all see? No tape. So here we go, y'all. Let's see what's coming up next. Did you guess decoupage? I bet y'all guessed, didn't you? Did y'all guess decoupage? Look at this paper, y'all. This is Roy Cycle Treasures Fall Botanicals paper from her last um, release. It is so pretty. This was my inspiration for this whole little corner shelf, y'all. This paper right here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take it and I am going to split it up the middle and then I am going to pick out the pieces that I like. I only need four pieces because um, there were four panels that, um, that I painted white. So I'm going to be using a piece of this decoupage paper on each panel. I have no idea why I pulled out this tape measure. Like I know how to measure. I can't measure worth a darn. But anyway, somehow I felt the need to pull out a tape measure. So that's kind of how I started, but that's not where I ended up. So what I did was I just took um, the paper and I cut it. I cut off my first uh, piece and I'm just choosing the ones that I want. I cut off my first piece and I kind of used that as a template to cut off the other pieces. But it went in a totally different direction from having these nice little, you know, even little pieces as you'll see in a minute. Take a chance and try once more. 
So after all that trying to measure, I thought the whole point is I'm going for an organic look. And I can't have these, you know, evenly um, cut panels of, of decoupage paper. So here I am, I'm going back with my little artist brush and some water and I am just going around the edges doing a wet, a little wet edge and then I'm taking my finger and I'm, I'm taking off that edge to create this really organic edge for each of these little papers. Now it's time to lay down the papers in each of the um, panels that I've painted white. I'm using DIY's liquid patina, which is my decoupage medium of choice, but you can use any water-based top coat. I am then taking a um, little piece of uh, plastic wrap, and once I do an anchor strip, anchor it down, and then I'm just going to work down in sections, and I'm just going to move down as I go, smoothing down and smoothing out any wrinkles that I might have gotten uh, from laying the paper down. Now I'm going to blend in around the edge of each of my papers and I'm using the base color which is gypsy green. I'm going back in with that same base color and I have this little sea sponge and I'm going to use an artist brush just to kind of get in and kind of um, blend in uh, that white color um, so that it's not so stark and outstanding. And I'm going to do that to each place that I put my decoupage paper. Oh, y'all, look how cute this turned out. I just love how this turned out. It really did turn out cute, I think. Hopefully, you guys think so too. You can still see some of the layers of gypsy green, some of the layered chocolate. You can uh, see how I blended around each of the decoupage papers. I really like how this turned out. Very organic, very unique, I think. Hopefully you guys think so too. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Let me know how you think it turned out. And also for you guys that watch me on my channel on Wednesday nights, can you see the little slivers of gold that I added? Y'all, I cannot stop adding gold. I just can't. Anyway, if you like this and if you like more things like this, maybe, just maybe, you'll subscribe to my channel. You'll give me a thumbs up. You'll leave me a comment. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.